Are we on here? I think so. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Andrew. I'm here in the kitchen, meal prepping and dream prepping. I know it sounds weird to do together. Um, pardon me while I sharpen my knives here to uh, cut some green peppers, some onions, some uh, mushrooms, and some tempeh today. Um, it's freaking hot in Glendale. Like it is. It's supposed to be like 110 degrees for the whole week. I mean, that's pretty ridiculous. But um, you know, trying to stay cool. But I don't have the air conditioning on in the house, so if you see me start profusely sweating, then um, you know it's because I don't have air on and I'm cooking with hot food and all that. So uh, yeah. But uh, today I am prepping up some meals and uh, prepping up some food. And also, just been trying to spend my time more wisely. Um, you know, I I know I've been saying this on like every one of my videos, but I put my two weeks in at my job, and uh, just you know, I have some things in life shaken up, and I'm just trying to uh, be prepared for uh, you know the unknown, the unexpected, and uh, it's scary, it's exciting, but. Um, you know, not knowing what's going to happen or what I'm going to be doing or whatever, you know, is, is you know, it's, it's definitely scary, but it's definitely a, a fun thing and an and a exciting thing, especially when you have your, your dreams, um, you know, in line and ready to go. But uh, so real quick today, I'm cooking a little bit. I have my organic green peppers, organic yellow onions. Organic shrooms. I'm gonna saute up some vegetables because uh, I've been missing some like fajitas and good Mexican food. Even though last night, uh, I have to say, last night I had a binge day. I had a binge night. Um, me and my roommate had a little bowling night with some friends. We had some Chick fil A. We had some Taco Bell. And today, back on the wagon. But, uh, you know, you're definitely allowed to have days off. Definitely allowed to treat yourself, as a lot of people say. And um, you're definitely. Just don't make a cheat day into a cheat week or a cheat month or a cheat year. You know what I'm saying? But, so today what I'm going to be cooking is, yeah, the sauteing up some and fajita, some fajita vegetables, some bell peppers, some onions, some mushrooms with some tempeh. And tempeh, if you don't know, uh, it's organic tempeh, garden vegetable flavor, but carrots, uh, red peppers, rice, soybeans, um onions, peppers, all the same things. Everything is flavored the same way. But um, super good. The tempeh actually tastes like fish if you aren't eating fish or if you aren't eating meat or anything. Go to Whole Foods, get some uh, Light Life Organic Tempeh Garden Veggie. It gets my fish craving and it's great and I'm happy about that. Um, but so yeah, just gonna be chopping up some onions and some peppers. I'm not a very good juggler, but we could try to do it. So. Um, but what I wanted to talk about while I was doing this is I was listening to a, uh, wow, whose video was I listening to? I'm already, already slacking off. Anyways, listening to a video on YouTube, when I remember who it was, it'll pop in my head, I'll tell you who it was. But it was talking about, um, talking about, um, uh, planning, you know, planning your, your goals in your life. And you know when you when you like that's why I wanted to like put it with my meal prepping because I'm like prepping my food kind of goes with prepping my life, but um, so what he was talking about was it Wayne Dyer? No, it wasn't Wayne Dyer. It was uh, God dang it, I can't believe I don't remember who it was. Um, well, I'm cooking up some couscous here, so excuse me. But uh, basically, what he was talking about was you know the 80-20 rule and then having a plan of action. And, um, you know, what a plan of action can do for your, your goals and your dreams and uh, what it can do for your life to have that all, uh, to have that all planned out and ready to go and to, you know, have your course of action ready. And um, so basically what he was saying is like talking about the 80-20 rule and what I'm always like confused about the 80-20 rule, it's like what you're telling me that 20% of this is going to produce 80% of that. Well, it makes a lot of sense because, you know, when you have your plan of action, you're pre preparing in your life, it's, it kind of always reminds me of that sharpening the axe method. Uh, you know how there's the one guy that's hacking away at the tree while the other guy is, um, this is probably a really famous story and I'm probably butchering it really bad, but I'm sorry when I'm cooking, I'm focused on this and I'm focused on that. But, uh, you know, there's the one guy hacking away at the tree and he's just getting nowhere for the first 
half an hour he's hacking away, just getting nowhere, while the first half an hour for the other guy, he's um, sharpening his axe. And, you know, when you sharpen your axe, which is basically creating your plan of action, creating, you know, what you want to do, creating what your, your steps, your your guidelines for your course, and not your course, for your, um, for your uh, dreams and your goals, you're sharpening your axe, you know? And so after he sharpened his axe for... Um, uh, when he sharpened his axe for the first half hour or whatever, and the other guy's hacking away, he goes over to his tree and cuts the tree down in, in a tenth of the time, you know, because he makes it easier. You make it easier on yourself when you have something, a course of action, when you read your goals every day, when you have goals and dreams written out. This guy was saying that only 3% of adults, 3% of adults have their goals and dreams written down. 3%? That's like... Okay, of how many adults are in the world? We have, what, six, seven billion people in the world? Three percent of adults, and so say four or five billion of that is adults? Man, that's an awful number. You're telling me there's only three percent of adults that actually want to do something better with their life or succeed or get further along in their life? That's crazy. But so, what I was listening to, he was just saying it's that 80-20 rule. It's like 80 percent of your actions and your results come from 20% of planning and preparation and goal setting and having clarity on what your action is going to be. And that was that was really a really a key for me because I know um, in the last month when I did a, a vegan challenge for myself, I did a plant-based challenge. I um, it really took a lot of preparation. It really took a lot of uh, a lot of meal prepping and shopping and cooking and stuff that I'm just not used to doing and not really liking to do a lot. And uh, it, it really uh, fell into the, the better I prepped, the better I did and the better I felt and the better I had the better results that I got. And because uh, you know when I cooked when I cooked on days and had my meals prepped, I felt good, I ate good, I worked out good. I went to work and wasn't hangry and angry and irritated. Um, but when I didn't prep my meals, and I went to work where they have all this great food that I couldn't eat because I was challenging myself to go plant-based for a month, I was hangry, I was irritated, I worked awful, I was irritable, and just not a good coworker. You're not a good, you know, it's just not a good representation of yourself. And that's what it is with a lot of life, you know, like when you're not prepared or when you don't have goals set, when you don't have a vision, when you don't have a mission, when you don't have clarity on what you want to do, then you're really, you're really hurting yourself you're holding yourself back, and you're not putting your best foot forward on what you could do with your goals and dreams in your life. And uh, so, oh shoot, I don't cook couscous all that much, but uh, I think I already burnt it. Um, but so, you know, when you when you um, have everything prepped up, and not just with food, but with your like gym regimen, and with your work regimen, and with your dream, when you have them written down, that's the first step that 97% of the adults don't do is write down their dreams. They say they're going to write them down, but they don't do it. And so not doing that, you're already putting yourself behind on if you ever want to succeed in something or if you ever want to get somewhere different in your life than where you're at right now. And like for me, quitting a job that I've been at for two and a half years, that's scary. But I have my goals written down. I have my mission written down. I have my why written down. I have, it, it's clear to me, I have clarity on what I want to do, and, um, you know, that's going to help me get through this scary time of not having the consistent job that I've had for the past two and a half years, you know, and not having that, but having dreams and goals and a vision and an action plan written down, it's going to get me through that time, whether it's going to have to be odd jobs for a while, or hey, maybe I'm, maybe I get lucky and I'm prepared and ready at the right time when an audition comes up and I book a gig. Um, who knows, but just having that plan of action and knowing that you want to go somewhere different than where you are right now, that's going to be huge. And so what he was saying, and I was also listening to a uh, Brendan Burchard. I've been on a huge Brendan Burchard kick. Um, he's just, uh, he's got the experts Academy. He's just this expert on motivation and building businesses and all that. But, um, I was just listening him to, to him today and it really resonated with me. Uh, my mom actually sent me this link. And it was on a video on um, talking about talking about uh, getting out of a situation that's you know not right for you, or doing something different, or moving on when you feel like you have something pulling at you. And for me, I'm not sure how this is gonna taste. Um, ooh, that's hot. 
Um, I don't think it's done, but whatever. Um, for me, I just knew that I needed to, I had some, I had to move on and I had to change things up and uh, whether it's going to be easy or hard for the next couple months or whatever it is, it's going to be a change that I needed and I needed to, it's going to be something that's going to help me focus on building my brand and my business and doing that. But having the plan of action and having the course of action is going to be huge. But so what Brendan Burchard was saying, he was just saying that like, you know, it may look like you're being a quitter when you are quitting because you are quitting something. But when you're quitting something that's not in the field that you love and something that you just feel like you're using as a crutch, something that you're, um, you know, just doing to get you by, then that's actually holding you back. Getting by is holding you back. But when you finally get into something or start to uh, go after something that you actually love and want to do, that's when you're going to start find, seeing results and finding things that you love in your life. And or doors are going to open for you that you didn't know could open because you were holding yourself back. You were putting your time towards something you didn't want to do. I've had great times the last two and a half years at what I was doing. But it's just time to shake it up and time to do something different. And I can already feel like with me, I wanted to write a, I want to write, I take that back. I'm writing a book and finishing a book and finishing a book. I'm going to be an author after that. And I'm creating a course and trying to start a business so I can be a business owner, you know? And I'm pursuing this acting game and I'm taking the headshots and taking the classes and doing shooting the stuff that I want to shoot and shooting episodes of TVs and short films and short, short skits and writing a TV show. And, you know, doing all this stuff is taking you closer to your goals and dreams, whereas sometimes I would just come home from work and wake up at noon and have to go back at 5 the next day and then, ugh, I sit around for an hour or two. You know, I go and eat crap food because I'm tired and don't want to prepare. I skip the gym three out of five days that I should be going. You know, and that's just not who I am and that's just not who I want to be. And, you know, there just comes a time where you find out that if that's not what you want to do, then change something. And so that's what Brendan was saying. He was just like, if you're finding yourself in something that you're not wanting to do and something that you feel like is holding you back, change it. Whether it is what's holding you back or you're just mentally holding yourself back because you're uh, using it as a crutch, then that's what you have to do. So for me, going back to the 80-20 plan of action thing, I've just been these last couple weeks when I finally decided to make the change. I've prepped out my goals. I mean, I've been, you know, I've still been doing my routine of going to the gym, eating healthy, um, other than a few days here and there. Oh, what up, Gary Klasnick? Um, and Sasha, and I saw Dolores, and I saw a couple other people on here. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys. Um, this is a live video. I'll repost later, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, all of that. Um, but I really do appreciate you guys liking, commenting, sharing. If you have any comments on eating, on the goals, on whatever in life, just talk to me. I am here. I love to just talk, answer questions while I'm doing stuff. I just feel like I'm killing two birds with one stone, getting the video out while I, what I wanted to get out today, get my message out while also making my food. I just got back from the gym. Just feel like I'm crushing it today, you know? But um, so what I'm doing now, I just feel like um, I'm trying to just get on the right path, whether I know what's going to happen or not. I don't know. The only thing that I do know is I'm going to be unemployed in a week and a half. Um, but other than that, you know, if you have your specific goals written, you write the goals down for the stuff that you actually want to do. Like for me, I, I want to finish my book. I want to book, I have goals that I want to book roles, you know, and sometimes that's not all the way up to you. Most of the time it's not up to you at all. Let me, let me clarify that. It's not up to you at all when you can book roles or get in for roles. The casting's going to want to call you, but you know, I'm doing all I can for it. I'm keeping in shape. I'm eating healthy. I got the new headshots. I'm keeping sharp with my acting by going and shooting films and writing stuff and reading books. So, you know, I'm doing all the work that I can. And then by reading out my goals out loud and having my goals written down and seeing them every day, keeping them in front of me, that's going to be something in back into that, like speak it to existence kind of thing. Or it's going to motivate you to do more and more work or do more and more things that, you know, hopefully, uh, get you to keep working, get you to get closer to getting in the door for the audition. Maybe you have to send in, maybe you have to send in a um, marketing package for yourself to the casting directors. Maybe you have to go and do some workshops. I don't know what it is, networking, making a connection, using your connections, whatever it is, but just having your goals and your prep and your planning ready, you're getting yourself a step closer every time. And so um, with doing that, I mean, I have 
The other goal is I want to read two books a month. I've had it at one, but I want to read two now. I want to just try and keep my mind fueled. Um, finishing my book, I want to create my business, get everything started. Oh, what up, Kev? Um, you know, so just having all of that in the works and while having this shakeup of life with the job of change and all that, um, it's going to be scary, but it's going to be exciting. And it's going to be more exciting the more prepared you are, the more you can um, have your have your goals and dreams in mind, be prepared, have your actions ready, um, know what you want to do and know what you're going to try and do. And um, yeah, man, two books a month. It's going, to be, it's going to be great. It's going to be tough, though. It's a lot of reading, but a lot of speed reading. Um, I'm quitting at the nice guy. I put my two-week notice in, so crazy. I'm glad, I'm glad you got to come in while I was there, but uh, it's just time for me to go. I'll text you in a little bit and tell you. But, um, yeah, so, uh, and just going back to having the goal set, having the dream set, and when you shake things up, yes, it's scary, but you can get through it, and you can, you can um, make things happen, whether you know it's going to happen or not, you keep your faith, whether it's in God, whether it's in the universe, whatever you believe in, um, have your faith, take your action, be consistent, do what you have to do, and uh, keep going, so... I just realized that I'm having a hard time prepping my meal while also talking. So, while I got that message out there, I'm going to continue cooking, but I'm probably not going to talk as much. Maybe I'll leave it on for a second. But uh, if you guys want to ask some questions or talk about something, I can leave it on for a minute, and then I'm probably going to close it because i got to finish this and go pick up Mallory from the bus station. She just came back from San Francisco. So, um, yeah, if you guys have anything to say, ask. Cool. I'm going to repost this live later. Um... And it is going to be on YouTube first, and then I'll probably put it on, oh shoot, that's really hot, um, YouTube first, then I'll probably put it on a Facebook actor page, I'll, it'll be on this page already, and then, uh, yeah, dad, you know, you know I've never been a pro at multitasking, definitely trying to, definitely trying to get better, oh, what up, Kyle, um, definitely trying to get better at multitasking, it's something that's uh, on my, on my to-do list of life, is video and cook at the same time same time and talk and have a conversation and not have my thoughts just go a million miles per hour. But uh, I'll try and cut onions right now without crying. Uh, I'm usually pretty good at that because like if I want to cry, I'm going to cry and onions are onions are fake cries and I don't like that. So, um, but yeah, um, so I'm excited. It's a cool, cool, interesting, weird time in my life. Uh, just turning 25, super exciting. Um, just having little acting successes come up here and there was exciting. Um, now, you know, I just have the dreams bigger and bigger and want to keep on, keep on going and keep on growing and keep on booking work and getting better and developing myself more. And uh, if this would happen, is this, ew, ew, I can't talk today. If this is what has to happen, then so be it. But yeah, I'm excited and uh, change is always scary, but it's always good, I think, you know, when it's change that you want, when it's not something that's like forced upon you. And uh, for me, this is something that I want, that I need to do, that I know is going to be good for me, for my mental health, my physical health, my spiritual health, my career health, relationships, everything. And it's going to be great because I'm going to focus more and more on everything that's super important to me while also chasing the dream and you know, keep on pursuing and keep on getting better. So, um, I think I'm going to finish up right now and go, but I really do appreciate you guys watching. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I'm going to try and do more lives here and there. I know I have a goal. One of my goals is to do a hundred more videos or maybe a hundred total. Cause I have 30 videos I think up right now and to do a hundred total videos by the end of the year. It's a very doable goal, but it's also very easy to not do. So I'm definitely going to, um, Definitely going to get on that and get moving towards that one. And uh, hopefully by the time 2018 hits, I have 100 videos on my YouTube channel. And they're all going to be way better edited. I'm going to have better thumbnails and sound for it. Slowly, slowly, slowly. One step at a time. Just getting the content out there is great. And then creating your raw content and getting, getting better and learning more. And then editing better. And then you'll see the transformation. It's going to be great. I'm excited. I hope all of you are excited for your life right now. If you're not, get back to square one, write your goals down, think about what you want to do, and get to it. Make a change. Do what you have to do. All right, everybody. I'll talk to you later. Love you guys. Let's get after it.